Hey guys, it's me, Anna Quinn. This is actually the second time I have started episode one of Always Sometimes Monsters. My stupid recording thing did this thing where it, you know, stayed on one picture, but my voice kept going and going along with the story and reading the things people were saying, and you just saw one frame of two guys standing there, and I, I can't post stuff like that. I just can't. So instead of being able to continue and, you know, get back the half an hour I spent on it last night, I'm going to have to start a whole new one. And I don't really like that, because it, it's frustrating. I'm, like, I'm having to, like, sit here and watch my recording and watch the gameplay just to make sure this doesn't happen again. And it's maddening. So, yeah, I I don't like it. And I I don't like I don't know. I I was uh going over in my head should I be the good guy and do all this stuff by the book and be nice and not steal and all this stuff and I was like, no, I I can steal, and I can do this, and I can do that, and everything, but it's just, you know, I, I think I'm going to be bad this time. I just want to be. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to be bad. I'm going to steal and lie and tell my landlord to fuck off, and then steal the old lady's money. So, uh... Let's let's start this whole fucking game over again. <sighs> Stop. Wait. Where the hell do you think you're running off to without me? I'm the boss, so you don't make a move until I tell you what to do, until I tell you what to do. Yeah. Got it? I thought I told you already. Once I'm paid, then we're through. I don't need you controlling me anymore. No. You ain't finished working yet. There are plenty of people I still need killed. You don't get to say anything until I decide you're done spilling blood. You checked that privilege at the door when you signed up for this job. Here I make the rules. Here I decide what happens. That's what you signed up for, right? Nah, I'm walking away from you. Hey, what did I just tell you? You ain't going anywhere unless I say so. I'm going over here. I'm telling you, you're making a mistake. Don't do something or we'll, we'll all regret. Da -da 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 regret. I'm walking away, buddy. Excuse me, sirs. Got a minute or a dollar? Hard times all around. Smelly vagabond fuck, get the hell out of my way. We don't have anything for you. Oh, I've heard that one before. Probably from you, too. Different day, different street. Who knows, maybe we used to know each other. Heh, <laughs> can you imagine that? Winding up back here again. Goddamn schizo. Why did I do that? I'm sorry I forgot what his voice was. <laughs> Goddamn schizo. Are you fucked in the head? Get the hell out of my way. Right. Oh. God damn it. I am sorry. I am terrible at voices. Right. We gotta keep things moving along. Before you go, there's something I think you ought to take a look at. What the hell is this? Well, you might say I've been expecting you. Does it feel familiar, standing on this end of the barrel? 
Or would you feel more comfortable with your own piece drawn? Go ahead. I'll wait. That's right. Aim it right between my eyes. What the hell do you want, you nut job? What do I want? I like playing games, don't you? Actually, I really do. What do you say to giving mine a spin? I don't know what this fool's smoking, but if he doesn't put that gun down right now, you put a hole in his head. Of course, you can hurry this along if you like, and we can all be done with it if you wish. Like any of this matter is anyway. I want to tell you a story, though, one about the many choices we all make. At the end of it, you can decide what to do. The only rule in the game? Let me finish. No interruptions. Then the choice is yours. Or we can pull the trigger right now. Sounds a lot less time consuming, doesn't it? Either way, the choice is always yours. Now I know if I listen, it's going to go through the whole story, but I've never seen what happens if you shoot him. If I shoot him and the game ends, I can just start all over again. Shoot him. And he's dead. Heh, <laughs> how predictable. I'll see you in another life, my friend. Every story ends. Is this how it was supposed to happen? Okay, now we're back. Um, now we listen. If you don't put that gun down. Oh, if you won't put that gun down, fine. Talk fast. There are many roads between yours and mine, but all roads start from the source. Have you ever been dragged to a party by someone? Uh, I don't know whose voice I'm doing. What if that party was life itself? Led by the nose, barely wanting to make take a pudding to part. Did you even have choice not to go? It would take it would. T Why am I doing this? I'm dyslexic. I can't read. It would take something miraculous to change you. But would you know the opportunity when it knocked? Fair weather friends are sometimes hard to sort. A man with opportunity to spare knows this best. One such of man of opportunity through party. He was looking for someone special, important. Not a lover, not a friend. He was looking for someone of substance. Whether it was the right choice or not, it's still up for debate. Oh, excuse me. That night they toasted ambition, success, and more. Little did they know how steep the mountain was. Gameplay. I'm playing the game. Gameplay. Come on, hurry up. Or did you change your mind? You can't invite all these people over and just leave me to take care of them, Larry. They're all weird. Why can't you have normal friends? They're all work friends. Waiters, artists, wannabes. You know, like the one I was telling you about. Boss wants me to sign someone by next week, but I still haven't got a clue what I'm looking for. Well, just pick someone who's going to do a good job. I don't want you getting fired over some fuck-up. This apartment's way too nice for that. Yeah, okay. I love you too, bitch. Hey, go easy on the booze tonight, alright? One drink limit, okay? <sighs> Now, in my other game, I think I picked her, but I don't know. I want to be a g get away from me. See, I like his little, like, mini standing guide there, but watch what happened. Yeah, I don't think I could look at that face all, all, all the time. Happy birthday, pal. How old are you now, anyway? I prefer not to check. Well, then let's toast to ignorance. I've got a couple of beers if you're interested. 
Tonight I'll only be having one drink. Maybe keep it simple with a beer. Maybe later. Maybe later. Gotta see who else is here. I didn't, like, all these people look like Ratchet. <laughs> what about you? Yeah, I like you. I'll show you who I picked in the other game. But let, let's see. Hey, Larry. Congratulations on the new job. Thanks. It's been a long time coming. Well? Well earned, though. I was like, well earned. <laughs> what do you say to toasting? I've got this gin I wanted to polish off. Taking it easy tonight. Only one drink. Gin does sound like a good choice, though. We'll come back to her, because I kind of like her. Maybe later. Gotta see who else is here. This is the one I picked before. How's your evening going? See, she's pretty, but I kind of like the other one. Oh, Larry. Happy birthday, man. Thank you. Is your night alright? Yeah, a great party. Just sipping on this bottle of brandy. Did you want some? I promised myself only I'd only have one drink tonight. Brandy's a pretty solid choice, though. Maybe later. Maybe later. Gotta see who else is here. Um... How about you? Yeah. Hey man, good to see you. The party's pretty packed. You don't say. Why don't we take a second and toast? I've got this bottle of whiskey. I'm not drinking much tonight. Only one. A good whiskey would be nice though. Maybe later. Maybe later. Gotta see who else is here. Alright. I found her. She's right here. I like your picture. Hey, Larry. Congratulations on the new job. Thanks. It's been a long time coming. Well earned, though. What do you say to toasting? I've got this gin I wanted to polish off. Taking it easy tonight. Only one drink. Gin does sound like a good choice, though. And we shall toast. Alright, let's drink. Give me a second to run to the patio. There's someone I want you to meet. Always happy to meet the ball and chain. Don't go anywhere, Larry. I'll be back from the patio before you know it. God damn fucking cat, move out of my way. Now, I picked her yesterday, and I think I'm going to still pick her and... Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Unless I find, like, a really cute... Oh, hi. Did you get a chance to talk to Larry yet? Yeah, I just spoke to him. He's waiting on me. I gotta go, though. He's waiting on me. Um... Aw, you're cute, too. Hey, did you get a chance to talk to Larry yet? Yeah, I just spoke to him. He's waiting on me. I'm gonna check around and see who else I think is hot. Mm, I don't like you. And I know who you are. Dude, I want to thank you. Hatton, that show last night was incredible. Robot suits? Amazing. Oh, that was me. That thing is hot and sweaty, but worth it. How would we look? We sound okay? Yeah, it was great. Don't worry. Thanks. How you doing? Eh, I can't complain. What are you and Dark Darkif up to? Nothing too much. You didn't tell me he was a musician. Dude, we should jam or something. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, for sure. We could totally throw a killer show together. Um. Ew. Ew, me. No, I didn't want to do me. Um, what about you? Who are you? Aw, you're cute. Uh, I like you. 
I okay, I'll show you who I picked last night, but since I'm picking a different main character, I better pick a different side character too. Hey, did you get a chance to talk to Larry yet? Yeah, I just spoke to him. He's waiting on me. I gotta go though. He's waiting on me. I think you I like you. Hey, did you get a chance to talk to Larry yet? Yeah, I just spoke to him. He's waiting on us. We gotta go though. He's waiting on us. We're going to toast that bottle we brought. That's amazing. What are you waiting for? This is the perfect opportunity to bring that book bring up that book you and Sam were working on. Mm -hmm. Do you think Sam will mind me pitching our book alone? I mean, I'd kind of be pissed if I was left out of the negotiations. You can worry about that later. If you don't get in there and butter him up now, you two will be drafting forever. I guess you're right, but we gotta make it happen first. Come on, you got the gift? Shit, we forgot to sign the card. Here, give it to me. I'll sign it first. Of course, A... Okay. And I am sorry, this is just... I am crushing on Markiplier bad, so, yeah. It kind of looks like him. So there we go. Cheers, Mark and Anna. Let me see that for a second. Sounds perfect. Alright, Mark, let's go. Wait, kiss me first. Oh. Oh, little hearts. Good luck. I like your suit. Come on. Always. Sometimes. Monsters. So, Larry, before we toast, I'm going to drop my e-cig e thing. Let me guess. You've got a book you wanted to pitch. Just hear me out. No need, Anna. There's a reason I'm toasting with you. I've seen your stuff. You've got talent. A lot of potential. But you're rough. I want to put in a good word with the boss. See if we can get you in advance. <laughs> That's... that's... crazy. Seriously, thank you so much. I'll get you something to show him in the morning. This is too exciting. Let's toast. Toasting! To ambition. To success. To getting rich. I hate you. To, um... Pick great partners last night, but not screwing up. To not screwing up. It really didn't matter who set things in motion. The landslide had started long before that night. This version of the story needed a hero, though. Would this be the one? Yes. I like Anna and Mark. One year later. Dun dun dun. Creators, arts, knock at the door and a note, music, choices and evolution of cost and benefit, circumstance dictates the evolution, consequence makes care, takes care of the, makes, takes care of the rest. In this system, there can be no right or wrong. Yeah, there is. If you steal money from the safe later on, it... What time did I get in last night? Shit. Looks like my Pebble sleep monitor got reset. I gotta get to sleep when this thing tells me to. I was halfway to earning my one month's... Kid... Circadin... And a matter... Deep, deep, deep. 
Let me just cycle through the moods and reset this thing. Deet deet. Deet deet. Deet deet. There we go, all set. They say the longest journey starts with a single step. And I know there are pockets in my fridge. Yeah, sweet. Pizza pouches. Yeah, I know. Let's microwave my sleep monitor. That's a thing. Okay. Aww. That monster's not even scary. Well, it's not. It's cute. Do do do. I don't want to read the thingy. What's this? Turn off lamp? Yes. Save electric. Oh, it's dark. Yeah. Looks like there's a few notes under my door. I almost started talking like the book guy. Larry. There has not been a few deaths of this notice as a result of according to your lease's balance must be paid immediately or you will be evicted at the convenience of your own land. Your current balance is $500. This entire balance must be paid immediately or avoid further action as a serious matter and your urgent attention is required. Failure to act in a prompt fashion will leave you responsible for additional charges such as court and attorney fees. Your credit rating may also be affected. Please speak with the building manager as soon as possible to avoid further issues. Sincerely, management. 30 days overdue. Pay up, baby. You're an ass. It's always something, isn't it? Come to see me if you wanted to get coffee before the Phoenix. Before work at the Phoenix, but you were asleep. Don't be late, man. I vouched for you, and my manager hates slackers. Darketh. Well, at least I've got a job for today. You grabbed your apartment key. You grabbed your bank card. Um. Look through. Sure. I'll just take a look. Oh! No! No! Go back! I don't... God, why won't it let me go back? God... Whoa. Sure. Oh, I do not approve of you, sir. I don't. I really don't. You're in my way. Can I look in here? Wow, a lovely fake cactus. What about this light? These lamps don't even work. This building is a joke. Pretty flowers. Management can't even afford real flowers. Well, where is it? I know it's in here. Excuse me, Mrs. Tellwinger? Tellwagger? We... T.Y. Laggard. With the farm gadduck. Oh, pardon me, Anna. Am I in your way? I got so distracted looking through my purse for my little calendar. There's never enough time in the day, you know. I know what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. There's never enough time to do everything you want to. Heck, I don't even have enough time to pay my rent these days. I seriously think I'm done for this time. Where's your boyfriend? Things, uh, uh, didn't work out. It's just me now. <laughs> Last night when it was two girls, it was like, uh, where's, where's your, uh, your, uh, roommate? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Couldn't have changed one more. They had to put, like, five, six different sets of dots in there. That's a real shame. You are such a good kid. Tell you what. If you need some money, why don't you come by my place later today? I'm hosting a little get-together tonight, and the place needs to be spotless. It'd be lovely to have some help. Uh, I'm trying to be bad, but I can't be mean to her. Thank you for the offer. I can use all the help I can get. Well, you know where to find me. Just come by any time today. Don't wait too long, though, or I'll get it all done by myself. Have a good day, Anna. I hope you find what you need. Aw, little lady. And clap her. Ch 
cheap ass landlord. That line's been a problem for months. Sounds like the landlord's on the phone. I might be able to slip out of here undetected. I want to check this box. Yes. Look inside. Yes. There's nothing in it. Really? Hold it, you! You mangy punk! Oh, I'm not going to be able to do that voice. <coughs> you literally think I wouldn't notice you just because the lights are off? I had that clap on clap off thing installed last week. Clap on, clap off, clap on, clap on, clap off. Just where the hell do you think you're going? You're in a lot of trouble, punk. You're a whole month late on your rent and I'm not in the business of sheltering deadbeats. Are you going to pay me what you owe or am I going to have to toss your ass out on the curb? You're serious about evicting me, huh? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, man. You know I'm good for it. I'm expecting a check from my publisher real soon. It's even probably already here, so just relax. It's not. Look, the check's going to be here soon. <laughs> it's got to be here soon. Just give me until the mail's been delivered, okay? I don't care if you've got to get some greasy businessmen to eat sushi off your body. Whoa. You're out of time, little China girl. What? You are racist. Pay me 500 by the end of the day or you can consider yourself officially homeless. In fact, you know what? Hand over your key right now. You can get it back from me when you pay your bills. You know I'm not going to do that, right? Are you going to give me that key or what? I know you've got it in your pockets. You really want me to hand over my key? And run. Screw you, man. You're not getting my key. What are you going to do, deadbeat? Just run away from all of your problems from you? Yes. How's that been working out for pretty good until you... I'm out of here. I don't need this shit. You're an asshole, you know that? Catch you later, old man. Dubs down. Hey, Anna. What's going on, girl? <laughs> it's good, Bellinger. Hanging around like usual, I see. I've got no need to walk around when I can see the whole city from right here. Sounds productive. That dick of a landlord wants $500 for rent. He even wanted me to hand over my key. I said screw it and ran out on him, though. Dang, that sucks. Well, I'm broke, so I can't help you with cash. Eh, yeah, I did find this rare indie hero's figure in the trash this morning while I was digging for breakfast. Aww. That's probably worth a few bucks if you want to pawn it off, or you could try and sell all 60, or you could try and get all 60 of them like me. Bellinger gave you a gobclaws the elder. Thanks. Thanks, Belly. At this point, anything helps. I will pawn it. If you ever get lost, come see me. You live right outside my building. I know these streets like the back of my red golf shirt. Thanks. You're an old man. Who are you? Let me... Have you seen those dog wine posters around town? I don't know much about them, but they say that you can get top dollar for bringing strays in off the street. You're a stray. You run away from me. I should try to find that dog some food. I have thirteen dollars to my name. I... You're a gas leak. You look like you have incredibly well glasses. I threw a dollar into the fountain yesterday wishing for riches, but I don't think it worked. I checked my wallet today and I'm still about a dollar short. Aww. How do I get a fishing pole? I'll probably need some fishing gear if I want to catch any fish. Well, I do. Where do I get it? Hey, what are you doing? There are a few things more annoying than happy strangers trying to make small talk with you. Well... 
You're an ass. Hey, you! You are either smoking. If you don't back off, I'm going clock it. Wow, you're rude, dude. <laughs> you're rude, dude. Where are you? This is the hottest club in town. I've been lined up all day long. I'm not moving or anything. For anything. Aww, you're pretty. Hey, cutie. You look like a girl with good taste. What do you think of my new dress? It costs a fortune, but I think it's hot. Looks great. Yeah, looks great. Definitely worth the money on a body like that. Uh, I like the way you talk. My name's Haley, by the way. So, um, I was looking for someone to do me a favor. I don't see why it couldn't be you. Well, that all depends on what you need. You know Dirty Don over there by the pawn shop? I heard he's got these tabs, happy pills, I think he calls them, that make you feel like you're having the most orgasmic sex. <laughs> until after I sent him. With God. Oh, God. <laughs> so, <laughs> sounds intense. If I give you 50, could you go pick some up for me? I know it's silly, but I don't want to lose my place in line. Sure. <laughs> Alright, deal. How many pills should I ask for? That should buy you 10 pills, so bring them all back. I might even share with you if we party later. You receive 50 bucks. Sounds easy. I'll be right back. Wait, there's one more thing. Don't get some trust issues. You're going to need this. Haley gave you a sealed envelope. Uh, what's that? It's just a little message from me to him. You know, to prove we're cool and not a cop and all that, right? Well, obviously. Keep it sealed until you see him, or he'll be suspicious. When you get there, open it and read it to him. Simple stuff. Gotcha. Have fun waiting in line. Let's go arcades over here, and I don't know where I'm going. Da -da 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 -da. Hey. Hey there, pretty lady. Got a second to invest in a sandwich? I'm trying to focus on a sandwich. I haven't eaten it at least three. You're going to say the same thing if I give you my sandwich, so no. Where's the arcade at? Oh, here it is. Hey, popcorn trick. It's sad because I know so much shit what's going to happen. Can... Oh. Hey, hey, welcome to Dirty Don's Popcorn Stand where I sell fresh popcorn absolutely nothing else. I guess I could... Eat some popcorn, I'll take a bag. Uh, what? No, I don't have any popcorn for sale today. I'm, uh, all out right now. What? Do you have a popcorn stand if you don't even sell popcorn? You asked too many questions, you know that? Um, hey, hey, welcome. Ba -da 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 -da. You sell anything else? So, uh, you sell anything else? I've got this envelope for something from this girl I'm supposed to see you for. Well, what are you waiting for? Open it, damn it. You open the sealed envelope. It says... Well, go on, read it. I like big butts and I can... <laughs> I like big butts and I cannot lie. Oh, I need help. You other brothers can't deny. When that girl walks in with the EB waist and round thing in your face, you get sprung. Well, bae, that's enough. You don't have to sing the rest of the song. I know why you're here now. What the hell was that? Oh, all my orders come as hip-hop lyrics. Help keep the cops from figuring things out. That sounds like you need some happy pills. Um, are you going to give me the pills? Now, what's a girl like you need happy pills for? for a friend. I need 50 worth of them pronto. 
No problem at all. I was just thinking, though, how would you like to save 30? Some number of pills, same number of pills and everything. That math doesn't add up. What's the catch? Oh, nothing shifty or anything like that. They're just local artisan pills. They're made from these eco-friendly toxins. Eco-friendly. I'm no genius, but I'm pretty sure that toxins aren't all that safe for human consumption. Yes, but I also said eco-friendly. It totally balances things out. Well, I guess that makes sense. So what it'll be, loyal patron? Spend 50 and get what you ask for, or spend 20 and save save the... I'm going to save 20. Well, if I don't save the whales, who's going to care? Or, if I don't... Wow, I am terrible, I am sorry. Well, if I don't save the whales, who's going to? I'll take the stuff made from the environmentally friendly toxins. You gave Don 20 for the drugs. Don gave you some fake pills. Right on, save the whales, save your money. That's what it's all about. Now... I go, there's a dumpster in my way. Now I go back here, give her, hopefully she doesn't notice. So, did you get the stuff yet, honey? I want to try a happy pill before the show. Yeah, I got the stuff. Hope you like whales. Whales? I love whales. They're my spirit animal. Is there any change? Nope. No change, unfortunately. Just make sure you take these with some friends around. You know, just in case anything happens to you. You gave Haley the fake pills. Um, I'll talk to you. Uh, I feel like dog shit. What the hell did you give me? Nothing. I've got a lot of good memories here at the Phoenix. Dark off should be waiting for me inside. Go to work. Whoa, lady. We ain't open yet. Excuse me? I said, we're closed, woman. We're expecting a crew. Uh, chill. Chill out, jerk. I'm working here today. Where's Dark off? Oh, I'm the jerk now. I deal with women like you all night. You're nothing special, so don't think for one second I give two shits about what you think. Sorry, did you just say you give shits away to people like me? What does that even mean? Listen, woman. Clearly, that's a collector. I don't you even know what collect. I can't even say that word. Catch you later, wordmaster. I need to go find Darkoff. I am mean to you, and I am sorry. I hurt my headphones. Okay. Okay. It seems like I've been playing this for a while, so I'm going to do this one last gig, and then as soon as I leave here... No, I didn't... Sure, I'll save. And the dead rise. You're late to... Did Benny give you any trouble at the door? No, he let me right through. Some bouncer he is. Whoops. There. How have you been? You pumped for the show? I'm nervous. Really nervous. This is my first big show since I split with Viper. And I don't know how well it's going to go without her. I know what you mean. 
not a day goes by where I don't wonder how different my life would be if I if he hadn't left so suddenly. Jesus, we're on this shit again? Look, Mark left you, what, a year ago? It's time to move on, don't you think? You're right. It's just not that easy for me. I don't know if you've noticed, but life's been kind of shitty for me ever since he left. My phone went off. How long are you going to blame your s blame him for everything? Seriously, you've got to take some responsibility. I can't decide how your voice should sound. Remember, he left you because of what you did. What I do? You know what? Fuck you. Not all of us are happy to be rid of our ex. Not all of us dated self-destructive junkies. Not cool, man. All I was saying is that since I left Viper, I'm realizing how it's the choices we make that define us. I am worried about the choice. Am I worried about the choices I've made? Totally. Am I terrified that my music's been shit since I quit? Sure. At least I made choice, man. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Everyone's really proud of you for getting off that stuff. My phone keeps going off. Give me a second. Okay. Not everyone, man. Seems like my fans prefer my sounds all fucked up. Part of me thinks they're right. They're wrong. I believe in you. That's nonsense. Everyone's just scared of change. Your manager makes a lot of money from you. I'm sure you sound fine. I appreciate it. You don't have, have been don't hurt since I kicked the stuff. I'm just nervous is all. Kinda wish I had some to calm my nerves. Ah, oh, well, my burden to bear. Here's the compliment. <laughs> Here's the layout for the equipment. Try to follow it exactly. I've got enough to worry about tonight. Since you slept in, we don't have any time to redo anything to make sure you get it right the first time. Piano, drums, the bass. That is that the bass? I don't know. There's one guitar, a microphone, and guitar. Gears in those boxes here. All you got to do is put the right stuff on the stage in the right place according to layout. Seriously, a monkey could do this job, so you better not mess it up. Get it done perfectly, and you'll get a hundred, okay? I'll do my best, Captain. I'll head backstage and work the spotlights for you. Okay, let's see. You picked up a guitar. Last time I put the guitar here. Sure. I hope I put that together right. Picked up a microphone. I know where that goes. Connect cable A. Wait, that's not right. Eh, looked okay to me. Picked up the base. Drop the base. Yes. Better be a god. Better be a damn good show. Oh my fucking god. Hey, hey, Anna. Come give me a hug! Viper? What are you doing here? I thought you and Darkoff split. You sure he's cool with you hanging around here before this show? Trust me, I know Darkoff. He's missing me like crazy right now. He probably already told you so, hasn't he? No. Hasn't said a word about you, to be frank. I hate to break it to you, but I think you two are splitsville for good this time. I always know when you're lying, Anna. No, you don't. 
I always know when my baby is super nervous, which is why I brought him a present. It's a baggie of heroin, you crazy bitch. Are you out of your goddamn mind? Darkoff's been doing so well. What the hell is wrong with you? Hey, I'm not forcing a needle in his arm. Nobody is. He's a big boy and doesn't need you making his decisions for him. He's nervous about the show and this helps calm him down. Then, who are we to get in his way? He'll just get it from someone else otherwise. You know what? Get the fuck out of here right now, you goddamn junkie, stupid ass motherfucking goddamn stupid bitch. Darkoff left you for a reason. What don't you understand about that? Go fuck yourself, Ola. <laughs> I don't know the first thing. You don't, I don't, we don't know the first thing about Darkoff. What he needs or what he loves. You don't know a fucking thing about love. Good luck with the fucking show. If my baby bombs, it's all your fault. What a psycho. Pick up the heroin? Yes, so he doesn't get it. No sense in leaving this laying around. I didn't even really know you could do that last time, and he got it, and I was scared. Drums go here. Can we build it? Yes, we can. Bob the Builder. Can we fix it? Bob the Builder. Yes, we can. And guitar. Dirt. Keyboard. Oh my god. I'm working up a sweat here. Oh, well, that's about as good as it's gonna get, I guess. I am taking a drink. Well, how'd it go? I forgot your voice. Take a look for yourself. Nee? Nee? Nee. Three out of five ain't terrible, but you seriously could have done better. I... what did I mean? I got the bass and the guitar mixed up. I'll have to fix the rest of it, though. Hope I don't have to skip warm-up. I've got to duck out... I've got to dock you at least something for that. Here's 75 for your time. Oh, I got 100 last time. Take it up with my manager if you've got a problem. No, with the, the money I got from the other chick. Whatever. Maybe next time give me a map with more than a few chicken scratches and doodles on it, eh? I can always count on you. Benny said Viper swung by earlier. Did you get to talk to her at all? Was she looking for me? I haven't seen her. No, nah, haven't seen her. If that junkie's around, stay, she'd stay clear to me. Cleared, stay cleared. Huh. Alright then. Well, I guess I gotta get ready for the show. Feel free to come back to the club a little later if you're interested in working coat check. We're short-staffed and could use you. Just talk to Benny at the door when you're ready to get started. Hey, Anna. You're a good friend. I guess that's today's work. I hope I made the right call with Dark Off. You've really been there for me this past year. Let's go check on him. Is there anything in the trash? Trash can? Trash? No? First sober show. You can do this. You don't need it. You don't need her or anything. What's in the trash can? Not in this. Oh, Anna. Just getting myself psyched for the show. I'm still nervous, but I know I've got this in the bag. I think we're going to blow it out of the water this time. Nothing's holding me back, and I don't care what Viper, my manager, or my fans have to say about it. That's great. Seriously. I've had a crazy year, and you've been with me through it all. I'm here to do the same for you. Whatever you need to knock it out of the park, just let me know. Darkoff seems to be in his own world. I should get out and see if I can come up with some more cash. Oh, 
Alright guys, this is where I leave it off. We'll see what I'll do next time. Hopefully you've had fun watching this, enjoying me watch, m watching me enjoy playing, enjoying watching play joy. Um, <laughs> that's it. I will see you in the next show. <laughs> Bye.